Hey YouTube, it's Justin AK Demonic Sweaters. I have a gear review for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at these D-Drum uh, Studio Class Isolation Headphones. And uh, I got these actually as a birthday gift. It was just my birthday uh, about a week ago. And uh, my sister picked these up for me and I thought it was a really good gift. I've been taking a look at these for a while and was curious about them. Uh, I am a fan of D-Drum products. I use quite a bit of them already. So I was really curious to see how these would hold up uh, compared to the rest of the D-Drum products that I have as well as other headphones that I have. So I already used them uh, yesterday actually on a live stream. get into the details of how I thought they performed on that. Let's just take a look at the box. You open this up and it actually comes with this little carrying case bag uh, that you can put the headphones in. It's like a, I don't know, soft kind of bag and it's kind of nice. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll ever use that, but in case I want to, I guess I'll have it. Um, and here's the headphones themselves. Uh, they look pretty good. As you can see, I got the white ones and uh, they're made out of this sort of uh, hard plastic, um, hard plastic. <laughs> That's really all. And uh, you can see here, it has basically the wire, the headphone wire is really short. It's only down here from both sides and it kind of dangles here and it has this long extension cable that you plug into it, which feels really high quality. It's very thick and pretty heavy duty, uh, the extension cable. And it's pretty long. I would say it's probably about six feet. Uh, it also comes with a quarter inch adapter there that screws on so there's no way that it can come off. Um, but the thing is with that, what I thought was kind of strange is that they made that one screw on, but the part where it actually connects where the most weight would be right here just plugs in and there's no screw in connection right there, which to me, that's where you should have the screw in connection because this is where all the weight is. Uh, but I'd never had it fall out or anything like that. So I don't think it's a big deal. Now these are marketed as isolation headphones and for that they actually do a really good job. You really can't hear yourself hitting the drums if you have these headphones on and you hear basically only the sound coming in through the headphones. Now I haven't tested them with acoustic drums so I'm not really sure how they would block out sound with something that loud but I'm sure it would do a fairly decent job uh, just considering how well they work with the electronic drums. Now that being said the sound quality of these things is really not that great. Um, to me, they sound like they have a very, very like strong boost in the lower mids, uh, which gives them kind of a, a honky kind of uh, mid rangey like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's just a, not a very pleasing sound. Uh, they sound like okay, but not great. Uh, definitely not nearly as good as any of the other headphones I have. I have a pair of Samson's that I have on the kit that I used uh, before, and then I have a pair of Sony's right here that are the uh, MDR7506. Uh, these are my favorite headphones. These sound really nice. And the Samsons are decent. They sound pretty good. Uh, these definitely do not sound nearly as good as either of those. However, they cut out a lot of the background noise uh, way more than both of those do. And they're fairly comfortable and they feel, feel fairly well made. So, you know, it depends on what you're looking for. Like if you're looking for studio class you know, reference headphones, these are not them. But if you're looking for a headphone for tracking or live streaming, you wanna block out all of the uh, outside sounds, then these are pretty good for that job. Now, do I think they're worth the price? Uh, they are about $150, I think somewhere around there. Mm, I don't really think so. I think uh, to justify that price tag, they would have to sound much, much better than they do. Another thing about these headphones that I'm not crazy about is there's no right and left markings on them. Um, sure, there's one side inside is red and the other side is black. I think the right is red, but I actually can't remember. I mean, that would make sense, but 
you know, it would have been just as easy just to put an R and an L, you know, on the bottom of the headphones. I don't understand why they didn't do that. Um, you know, the white, I think, looks kind of cool. That's why I wanted the white ones. Um, I kind of prefer them to the black ones just because they're a little bit different. Uh, but, you know, they are decent. I'll give them 3.5 stars out of 5. Uh, just because they do isolate, which is, you know, I guess their job. The price, I think, is a little bit high, and the sound quality really isn't that good. Uh, but they seem well made and do block out outside noise. So that's my review on the D-Drum uh, Studio Class Isolation Headphones. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell icon, and I'll see you guys really soon. Have a great day.